load frequency control of single area system under that static analysis or we call it as a steady state analysis. So, the steady state or static analysis of single area system. So, there are two cases one is uncontrolled case and second one is controlled case. So, first we see about the uncontrolled case. In the uncontrolled case, consider the complete block diagram model of LFC of an isolated power system which we derived already. So, this is a complete block diagram. Under this, for uncontrolled case, consider the speed changer has a fixed setting. So, under this condition, del PC equal to 0 and the load demand changes. So, this is known as the free governor operation. So, there is no change in the speed changer position. So, we are assuming this del PC is equal to 0. So, there will not be any movement in the speed changer. So, that is why we call this as a free governor operation. So, in the complete block diagram, put del PC equal to 0. So, the block diagram is reduced like this. So, here 1 by R is hitting at negative. So, removing this summation point here, directly we can substitute in this block, it is minus 1 by R. Now, this block diagram can be reduced by using block diagram redu reduction technique. So, multiplying all these three blocks and bringing this del PD of S to the left hand side here and keep this KP by 1 plus STP as it is. So, this block diagram looks like a negative feedback system. So, we can find the transfer function for that. So, it is G of S divided by 1 plus G of S into H of S. So, where G of S is this block KB, KP divided by 1 plus STP and H of S is this whole block. So, the transfer function is defined as Laplace transform of output divided by Laplace transform of input. So, here the output is del F of S and the input is del P D of S and this del P D of S is hitting at the negative. So, minus del P D of S. So, del F of S divided by minus del P D of S equal to G of S that is K P divided by 1 plus S T P divided by 1 plus G of S K P divided by 1 plus S T P into this H of S. So, taking L C M in the denominator so, multiplying all this term with 1 and the remaining term is kp, kg and kt which is in the numerator of the denominator term divided by r into 1 plus stp, 1 plus stg and 1 plus stt which is the LCM of the denominator term. So, now you can cancel this 1 plus stp and 1 plus stp. So, the remaining term will be like this. So, taking this r into 1 plus stg and 1 plus stt to the numerator it become kp into r 1 plus stg 1 plus stt divided by the whole denominator term. Now, take this minus del p d of s to the right hand side. So, it is minus del p d of s into kp r into 1 plus stg 1 plus stt divided by the denominator term. Now, for step input, del p d of s is equal to del p d divided by s. So, substitute that and now for static response apply the final value theorem. The final value theorem is del f stat is equal to limit s tends to 0 s into del f of s. So, we are going to apply this in the previous equation. So, del f stat equal to limit s tends to 0 s into this del f of s term. So, you can cancel this s and s and the remaining s we are going to substitute 0. So, the equation become like this substitute s equal to 0 you will be getting like this. So, the equation is reduced like this. Now, for static response practically this kg and kt is equal to 1. So, substituting that you will be getting this uh, minus del p d k p into r divided by r plus k p taking r as common you will be getting 1 plus kp by r. So, now you can cancel r in the numerator and denominator. So, the equation become del f start equal to minus kp divided by 1 plus kp by r into del pd. So, del f start equal to minus del pd into 1 by b divided by 1 plus 1 by br where this kp equal to 1 by b. So, where b is a damping coefficient. So, now taking this b to the numerator and multiplying within the bracket. So, it become minus del p d divided by b plus 1 by r. So, that will be equal to minus del p d divided by 1 by r. So, since b is very very less than 1 by r, neglect b. 
where b is the damping coefficient and r is the speed regulation. So del f start equal to minus r into del pd. Next one, controlled case. So in the controlled case, the load demand remains fixed, but the speed changes setting varies. So load demand is del pd. We are going to equate this del pd to zero. So in the block diagram, put del pd equal to zero. So the block diagram is reduced like this. And by doing the block diagram reduction technique, multiplying all the three blocks together, you will be getting a single block. And in the feedback, you will be having 1 by r. So now finding the transfer function, Laplace transform of output divided by Laplace transform of input, del f of s divided by del pc of s. Here the input is del pc of s. And g of s is this block and h of s is 1 by r. So transfer function equal to g of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s. Taking LCM in the denominator and cancel out all the terms which we can able to cancel. So the remaining equation will be like this. And now take this del pc term to the right hand side. So del pc into r into kg kt kp divided by the denominator term. So for step input, del pc is equal to del pc by s. So substituting del pc equal to del pc by s, you will be getting like this. Now for static response, apply the final value theorem for this case. So del f stat is equal to limit s tends to 0 s into del f of s. So substituting that in the previous equation, so this s and s get cancelled and the remaining s in the denominator three terms, we can substitute s equal to 0. So the equation is reduced like this. Now for static response, this kg and kt is equal to 1. So substituting that, the equation is further reduced like this. It is del f stat equal to del pc into r into kp divided by r plus kp. Okay, in the denominator, take r out. You will be getting 1 plus kp by r. Now you can cancel r. So the remaining equation become del pc into 1 by b divided by 1 plus 1 by br where b is the damping coefficient where kp is equal to 1 by b. So the equation become del pc divided by b plus 1 by r. Take bringing this b to the denominator, so multiply inside the bracket, we will be getting b plus 1 by r. So where b is very very less than 1 by r, neglect this b. b is the damping coefficient and r is the speed regulation. So we are neglecting that b. So the equation is reduced like this, del f start equal to r into del pc. So this is the controlled case expression. So for steady state or static analysis of single area system, uncontrolled case assuming del pc equal to 0, the del f start equal to minus r into del pd and in controlled case del pd equal to 0, del f start equal to r into del pc. So this is the expression for controlled and uncontrolled case.